Hello students, I hope you are all getting familiar with block diagram reduction. In the previous sessions, we have seen block diagram reduction and in that block diagram, we had only one output and one input. So in this uh, video, I will be showing a block diagram where there are more than one output and more than one input and how to derive the transfer function for it. So let's get into the uh, session. So here is an example where there are two outputs given, one at C1 and another here at C2 and two inputs R1 and R2. So now we are going to find the transfer function C1 by R1 and another transfer function C2 by R1. Before we enter into this particular uh, block diagram reduction, students should remember that transfer function is a model which will have only one output and one input. That is, it will give a relationship between system's single output to that of single input. Whereas, you have another model called state space model which will give you a relationship between multiple output to that of multiple input. But transfer function does not have that capability. So, transfer function can only model a system with respect to single output that to that of single input. So, when they ask you C1 by R1 which means that uh, this R2 should be kept to 0 and that state space model which I said you will be uh, learning in the uh, fifth unit. Okay, So now C1 by R1 which means that I should keep the uh, R2 signal, the second signal to 0. That means when I give 0 here, something is getting added with 0 and going here. That means that I can remove this summer. So uh, I can straightly connect this line here. So the, there will be a small change in the block diagram after this. So R2 has to be removed and the C2 also you should not consider. See from this point I take a signal and I uh, give it to G6 and I tap the C2. When I am computing the transfer function between C1 to that of R1, I should not be bothered about this C2. From where the signal is tapped and uh, to which block it is given and uh, how the output C2 comes, that you need not bother. So I have to remove this and I have to remove this particular portion so that there is a small change in the block diagram. So first we will start with a C1 by R1. So after doing all these changes, your block will look like this. So there is no R2 and there is no C2. Uh, through a block uh, G6, the C2 was tapped. But since now I am not bothered about that C2, I have removed along with that uh, G6 uh, uh, block. Uh, it's enough if you go from G5 and some uh, signal from the out of uh, G5 is tapped and given to H1. Okay, and that goes as a feedback here. So now we will start to reduce. Uh, by looking at this uh, block diagram, you can see that uh, this is a small feedback loop. So it becomes G4 divided by 1 plus G4 into 1. That is, there is a unity feedback. So it is G4 divided by 1 plus G4. So I can reduce this now. After reducing it, you can see that uh, G4 divided by 1 plus G4. Now you can see that from this point I go like this it is H2 and then the block G4 divided by 1 plus G4 then the G5 and then the H1 all these things are cascaded and then it goes to this summer. So what I can do is I can multiply all these four blocks H2, G4 by 1 plus G4, G5 and H1. All are in cascade. And one more thing that I can do is I can split this summer into two points. See, for example, this is have this summer is having uh, three inputs. One suppose uh, let me take this input as A, this input as B, and this input as C. What will be the output? The output will be A plus B minus C. So I, even I can split this summer into two such that A plus B output goes to uh, the C. And uh, there I will have a, another summer with a negative sign so that it, uh, it gets added with minus C. That is A plus B adds with minus C. So it, I, I can split this summer into two summers because it is having three input. So I can split the summer into two summers with two inputs. Uh, without uh, having any uh, compensation I can do this. It is a simple logical thing that we can do uh, for simplification purpose. So when I do these two things, the block diagram will look like this.
so i have multiplied all the things which came in the uh, cascade and given to uh, this uh, uh, summer the summer was split into two so now i have done that uh, division just because i can easily this loop comes out this loop comes out and i can use a uh, reducing feedback loop rule so that g1 divided by 1 plus g1 into this function i can reduce this feedback and i can make it as a single loop so after you make this into a single loop it is getting multiplied with g2 and you will have a single block with that you have a unity feedback if you reduce it again you will have a single block that block has to be multiplied with g3 to find the c1 so whatever i said will be following in the next few slides so do you see that first uh, loop we have reduced now it has to get multiplied with g2 after getting multiplied with g2 there is a unity feedback now you can reduce this block and then multiply with g3 to get the output c1 this gets multiplied with g3 so that means that it, it becomes a single block that block function into r1 will give you c1 or c1 by r1 is equal to this function so now we have computed c1 by r1 now we will move on to find c2 by r1 c2 by r1 as i said output is c2 and input is r1 now i have to remove r2 as usual i have to remove r2 that is i should assume this uh, uh, r2 input as 0 and i should not bother about a c1 output actually c1 was tabbed from this point a block was uh, there and uh, from that block you got the c1 so now i am not bothered about what is getting tabbed from this point to get the c1 so i have removed the wing the c1 and also r2 students cannot remove this g2 or anything like g1 okay they can just do only this wing because that was no way related with finding c2 by r1 but from this point you have a feedback so these parts are all a part of finding the c2 by r1 only thing is this fellow was not involved from here you tap some signal and you get multiplied with a block and then you get your output c1 so since now the output c1 we are not considering i am i have removed this block so as usual here you have a, a small feedback loop you can reduce it after reducing the small uh, loop you can see that from this point as usual many blocks are in cascade this h2 this fellow this g5 and uh, this uh, h1 but you cannot uh, take this to h1 now because there is a tapping point from here to G, uh, c2 so only these three blocks are in cascade you cannot now see since the in the previous uh, problem this was neglected so the out, uh, this block was getting multiplied with h1 but now that is not the case because there is a tapping at the center and here you have another tap to go to C2. So only these uh, three fellows are in cascade. I cannot cascade it with H1 because in between there is a uh, branching to another. You know that only if we don't have any branching point between the two blocks you can multiply it. So only these uh, three blocks you should multiply. And now you can split this summing point as I, I said in the earlier uh, uh, version or problem. You can um, split this summing point into two for convenience. Actually since uh, we have removed the part uh, C1 here. From this point a signal is tapped and through G2 it goes to the uh, uh, summer that means there is a this is should be considered as a feedback from this point uh, uh, instead of drawing like this simply I take a line like this and I multiply it with g2 and I give it to this summer that will give you a better understanding so you can see that happening 
now. So do you see that? I have taken from this point and I take through G2 and given to this summing point. So now this is a feedback because there is a G1, the output was G1, was taken and it was given through G2 to the summer, that is the input side. So this is a feedback. Okay. Don't think that there is, uh, if there is only H2 or H here, I should take it as feedback. This is from output to input. So this is a feedback. I can eliminate this using the rule. G1 divided by 1 plus uh, G2 into G1. So you get a block diagram like this. Now you can see that these two blocks are in cascade. This fellow is in cascade with this fellow. See, the student should be familiar in drawing now. Okay. But these two fellows are not in cascade with this because at this point the signal taps to 2. Okay. Only these two fellows are in cascade. So you can redraw it now by uh, making these two into a single one and drawing a, a smaller block diagram. Okay. So like this. So those two after getting cascaded it becomes a single loop and from the output of that point there was a H1 going as an input to the uh, same block as a, a feedback and from that point G6 was there and from G6 C2 was tapped. Okay. So instead of a big line we have reduced it into a small block diagram here. Now this is simple because this is a feedback and you have to reduce this feedback loop and you have to multiply it with G6 to obtain the uh, output. That you can see it here after reducing the feed block it is getting multiplied with G6 you get the transfer function C2 by R1.